How's it going guys? JP here. This is uh, Survivor Season 1 Borneo Episode Number 5 titled Pulling Your Own Weight aired June 28th of the year 2000. And this one was, uh, it was kind of fun. We had the reward challenge with uh, the blow dart, slingshot, and spear. And it kind of all came down to one, like the blow dart and the slingshot was kind of irrelevant. It was just to add more fruit to the prize. It all came down to the spear throw. And it's weird looking back on the first season when, when so many of the challenges seem to all lie on one person's shoulders. You know, we see it again in the immunity challenge of this episode with uh, it all coming down to Sue and Joel. And it's 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 kind of a bit awkward um especially in the immunity challenge which was the rafting one it was kind of funny because uh kelly who's like a, a white water rafter or like river guide or something and she's going up against jervis who can't even swim really so everybody automatically thinks you know kelly's gonna blow jervis out of the water and uh no, not at all. It's actually quite an awkward challenge because they show, like, the helicopter view. And it just shows Jervis, like, so far ahead. And it's just this long, awkward, crushing defeat. It wasn't even close. And um, you kind of realize, like, it, these early challenges really just kind of were... I don't know if they were... They, they really weren't that well thought out. Because it just seems like you're relying on one member of the tribe to to win it, you know, uh, Sue versus Joel in the spear challenge, that was the whole end of it, that was the deciding, um, 100%, the deciding factor on who won and lost, it had nothing to do with the whole tribe, and, uh, you could tell right away that, that Joel was probably gonna win the challenge based on the editing, because they heavily favored Sue in the editing, and then you have the other challenge which they heavily favored Kelly but it, it was worth it because it made it um, it made it priceless because she's supposed to win this challenge and then she loses the Jervis of all people uh, who can't swim that, that was great stuff there uh, so Pagong uh, wins the immunity challenge Taiyi has to go vote somebody out and you can see that uh, Sean and Dirk are on the outs of uh, Taiyi so it's, it's pretty obvious who's going home um, Dirk uh, gets voted off, um, which I never really liked Dirk at all. I thought in the a couple episodes back when he was, um, you know, just preaching so much and 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 stuff like that. It's just it's somebody who I wouldn't get along with personally. So he just kind of uh, was always a annoying character to me. Uh, Richard and Sue and Kelly's alliance are going strong. Um, I think it's m about to be merge time coming up here, so I forget exactly what the numbers are, but I think it's I think it's even or Toggy's down one. Um, so yeah, uh, this episode, you know, uh, Colleen and Greg, you have them kind of sneaking off and, and sleeping in the woods. Um, and of course, Colleen being smart enough to realize that all of America are just going to assume that they're out there uh, in a romantic... Uh, sexual relationship just says you know that's what we do we got there and have sex which is is funny because she's aware that that's what people are gonna think so she makes a joke out of it um, that's why Colleen's so likable is uh, she has this this uh, the kind of um, subtle sense of humor uh, and Greg like busts out in the song and stuff in this episode I think um, which is just really <laughs> it, it's really funny um, that the guy is something else. So uh, that about wraps it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in episode number six.